Hello there, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Dwight, here. We're playing some more on Nightingale. And I'm trying to work out whether I can incorporate this Romic transmuter uh, into my base. So I've kind of placed these things here. They're kind of central. Um, I've been faffing around a little bit trying to find a decent height because I didn't want too much of a like an overhang at the back end here. Um, but also wanted it to kind of match up with the stairs a little bit. Um, and then I was kind of wondering, do I want the top of my base eventually just to be straight on with this? Uh, would these stick through? Um, does that matter? Could I kind of, if I wanted to, could I kind of put these here to cover these up, but then I'd lose the flames? Um, yeah, is it something I wanted to do? Um, and I kind of just came up with this little thing. I'm probably going to move my can over here at some point and build my house kind of just here to start. Obviously there's lots of scope here. This is only the second episode for us to uh, kind of remove stuff. Um, so I think really what I need to do now is get the 84 stone blocks we need in order to uh, finish this. I'm going to cut these trees down as well. Um, so that they're not in my way. And I don't want to waste the wood. So we'll start with this. We're going to try and get ourselves a little hut over here. Um, stamina is going to be an issue. Also, food is an issue. Uh, I do have eight minutes, so we probably do need to get a campfire down at some point. Should be an easy, uh, easy grab there. Um, once we get enough stone to kind of put stuff on, we can start getting some other things made here. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Super psyched to be playing this game again. Um, oh, these big trees, they do take a while to hammer, don't they? Um, there we go. Hopefully that doesn't destroy my buildings. I did see a load of numbers there. Now we've got this stump also to try and get. Okay, whilst that's doing that, let's grab the wood from the floor just in case it despawns. I don't know if things do despawn. I imagine they do. So I saw that and thought, you know what? That's a, that's a quick tidy. I kind of make our way through all of our foundations yeah. here and that's a big tree actually. Tidy tidy some stuff. Let's grab this stump out of here. Oh, it's gonna take some hitting. Probably better off maybe trying to build another axe. I don't know if we've got tin axes yet. Probably not. This thing's ridiculously crap. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, we've got, this is a tree. So we can take this one out. We might build our walls out of wood. <laughs> to start with, because I think there's 84 blocks of, um, 84 stone is, what's that, 24 and 60, so you get 3 per 1 normally, so that's 20, 28 blocks, 28 pieces of stone that we need to find our way through, my axe is breaking already. That's how good it is. Let's grab this. Should we wait for our stamina? Is that all the woods? Yes. Okay, that old one wasn't so bad. We do have this one here. Just looking around for any kind of loose planks. Planks? Loose branches. This is all pretty clear at the top here. And I'm hoping that when we put stuff down, all this 
all these flowers and things, plants and weird stuff, won't show through. What is that? Oh, it's rain. Why does that sound like a fire crackling? And it's not. It's rain. Now we did get a note actually on the tooltips saying about uh, hail. We need to look at it. Go around this and see if it makes a difference. faster than I'm walking. Oh god. Um, mistakes may have been made. I've got some hardwood bundles here as well. Um, I just don't know whether they despawn. Um, do I have... I do. Do you know what? I might try and just... Okay, we've cheesed it a little bit. Come on. There we go. Let's try and get rid of this. Is that all of it? I think that's all of it. So, I mean kind of goal now is to try and grab some stone I don't think I have any in here and maybe get out of the rain and just grab a quick short rest mm. go grab some stone I think I saw some down here by the water's edge I'm going to see if we can build a little bit of a base to put some things on I might need to try and move my can as well it's kind of hanging off the back I like this area, we've got like the beach behind us. Um, oh, that's deer. I thought it was pigs. I was getting ready to get ready for the fight there. Okay, I'm well aware that I have a quest in as well. Essence when we mine stuff. I wonder if there's um, like infusions and things like that that get get you more stuff. Well, one thing I did notice as well was that one of the items available to buy was a fishing rod. Hail. We're taking damage. We're taking damage. Right, okay, let's uh, travel to our rest bar. Let's see if we can get some of those stone blocks built. So, oh, yeah, I'm not coming out there. Remove pretty much all the weight that we were carrying. I wonder if we could just get rid of this. 
How far you've come, and yet how little you possess. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? No. It seems more apt that thou merely remain blind to all that be thine. Across these wilds, your kind have proliferated with haste. Industrious and more than willing to avail amidst your ever-growing need. Indulge their hunger for essence, and they will indulge your want for new and novel constructions. Okay, essence traders can be found in most realms, and the schematic resources can be in exchange for essence. So we found this way. Realm walkers can purchase schematics from essence traders. Yes. Walkers may use the uh, guidebook to keep pencils available. <coughs> Spelling. In the various essence traders are within the realms. Essence traders will also be marked on the map below. Which is an item selected, push the buy button. Yeah. Basically a shop. Thank you very much, Mark. Okay, so we've got a little bit of stuff built here. My respite is damaged. Right, let's go out and get more stone. I wonder if it's damaged because I built on it. Oh, it's a deer. Okay. I didn't actually grab the total of how much we needed. So we're just going to wild and speed. I guess there's also going to be plenty of stone in other realms for us to go and collect, so not too worried about using it. And I guess we'll find better materials. We have before we had 40, so we're 20, 24 now. Let me get these four here. <coughs> oh, we're so slow. Um, you know what? We can come back. That's not a problem. Oh, can I reach that, please? Now full. Well, we are wet, just trudging around. There was some more over here, wasn't there? stuff respawns actually. I wonder if trees respawn for example. Obviously not within the, the uh, remit of your base build. Hopefully that's not a thing. So you wake up to find a tree growing through your living room. and then we'll run back. I say run back, we'll teleport back. The laziest guy ever. Right. Okay, we're way down. 
Um, I can't put any more in there. I don't have any room for anything else in there. But we do have this, and the ground does slowly when you walk on it. Oh, does that only work at a distance? That's a bit rubbish. So that's going to look like that the whole time. Growing through my floor. How how much is that going to bother me? That's going to bother me a lot. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do I do here? Um, I need to build this slightly higher. How much higher? Just a little bit higher. That's annoying. Right, okay. Look, I'm going to get this right. So, this was... Where are we planting to? Right, guys, I'm going to sort this out height-wise, and we'll be right back. I can't have stuff growing through my floor, so um, we are going to sort this out. And I should catch you in a minute. Okay, guys, we're back. I um, <clears throat> I think I fixed the problem here. I also managed to line this up quite nicely. I put my can here. Um, we do sometimes spawn like right here, so I might have to move that. Um, but I've also constructed or put down a crude shack. Um, so we actually need let's have a look here, 36 more stone blocks, a bunch of sticks, some wood bundles, which is fine because I need to cut down some of these trees anyway, um, and a whole bunch of plant fiber actually to build this. Um, so I'm gonna go and do the driver. Do I want to do this or shall I just build it all out of stone? Um, Building it out of stone make more sense. I mean, that way I only need to really grind stone. Maybe we'll just build it all out of stone. Um, I might put the crappy shack roof on the top. But I think we'll build all of this out of stone. Um, that way I need to go and grind the one resource really. Um, yeah, we still need to do our couple of foundations here. Um, things like, I mean, we're still going to get a few little bits and bobs, sprouts poking up through, I think, at a distance. I think later on, that's not going to be too much of an issue. I hope. I hope it doesn't bother me as much as, as I think. <laughs> it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, we are going to go grab the rest of the stuff we need. I, mean, I do have some stone right here. Why don't we just put that in there? Um, a few rocks on me as well. I'm going to go and grab that. We are running out of food actually, so I do need to kind of hurry this bit up and uh, get this sort of thing complete. Um, I'm going to run down here to the beach and grab us some more stone, and then uh, we'll be right back, guys. Let's slowly move back to base. Okay, here it is, our little hut. Nice. Uh, one more thing, can we build a... Oh, we can build a door. I don't need stone blocks for that. Sticks, wood bundles, plant fibre. Fine, okay. I thought it was going to tell me then when we needed stone. <laughs> um, we need a campfire, so let's put that... Uh, right inside the door here. Um, it's now sheltered, which is awesome. Simple tanning station. You can get that on the go. Let's plug that over. Um, put that over here. Maybe here. Shut that in the corner. And 
then we also want a simple workbench, which we'll put over here. Why has it got a hand on it? Let's put that over in this corner. Um, other things we're going to need in here are a bedroll. So I'm going to bung that right over here. Close-ish to the fire. Um, and then we're going to need a bunch of storage. Um, so, I think we'll put some stuff for food over here. Raw, weird, and cooked. And then we can put some other storage kind of here. So let's have plant stuff. Uh, wood. Stone. Metal. Animals. Other. For now. Uh, what do I need for that? Wood, sticks and plant fibre. There's the sticks. There's the wood. <sighs> Way down again. Straight away. Okay, we can grab the plant fiber from one of these. Hey, there we go. One door. Okay, I can't finish building any of those yet. We need more plant fiber. Let's go over here and grab some of that. Juicy stone down there. How much plant fiber is that? Thirty. Items breaking. Okay. Okay, fifty three plant fiber. So wooden stuff, perfect, stones, nailed it. Let's go and grab our stuff, transfer all, oh god what is this, hang on, something's coming, is that because we've completed the house? Oh my god is that thing dangerous? the health of my building damaged already? Is it damaging my structures? No. It seems to be walking past. Okay, plant stuff. Seeds. Are we gonna... Look at that plant stuff. Oh, okay, building traits. Modify the function of certain structures, the environment and nearby structures determine which traits the structure has. For example, a bedroll is more effective when it's in a warm, dry place. There are both positive and negative implications to traits. A few to look out for are other environmental traits like grit and exposed, which are applied based on the location, the structure, its place, and increase crafting times. Benches gain the grit trait if they're built on bare ground. You can avoid this by placing benches on the foundation or existing structures within the realms. Done. Mm. Benches are exposed if they're built in areas where they are not sheltered. Realm walkers can also add positive traits such as light and warmth for building a campfire near benches or bedrocks. Some structures have augmentations impact, can have augmentations impact their effectiveness and create new traits. To use an augmentation, you have to build it near the structure you want to impact. Okay. Okay, I think we'll find this out. As we go along, 
inspect inspect the thing. Right, we are knackered, so let's have a short rest here. I'm not surprised, we've just literally put all this together. Um right, we've got some fuel in our fire. We've got a little bit of food on us still, but we could probably do with cooking this. So let's Let's do that, and whilst that's cooking up, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining us for some more Nightingale. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I mean, we I had a few things to sort out to try and line all this up the way I wanted it. Um, this is probably going to get much bigger when I encompass all of this. Grab this thing. Um, I want the house to obviously be a lot bigger. We're going to have to get more building and stuff. Um, it'd be cool if part of my building was on this level here and I think that's maybe the, the, the same level as that so it's like a second story you could wander out straight to this thing um, we do have a portal that jump uh, just there as well so I don't think we're going to build an estate that big but it is quite close so that's not too bad I just wanted to kind of I saw this thing, thought we we're going to probably put some minor realm cards in it at some point. It'd be useful to have it here. I also wanted to uh, wanted to see the sea from from our home, so I'm more likely to extend out the back than I am out the front, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know how much space we really need. Uh, we'll find out, I guess, in future episodes. If you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and I will look forward to seeing you around for the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves, and stay safe out there.